Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by for a visit today. I know you have a lot going on, but I really enjoy visiting with you guys. And so I'm glad to that you pop on here and give me a little visit. So we are having a cold, rainy day here in Louisiana. Um, I didn't know it was going to rain. I thought we weren't going to have rain for a little bit to give us a little time to dry up. Because we do have some things we need to do outside, but we need it to dry up before we can do those things. So here we are, raining again. <laughs> At least we don't have storms this week. Like, every week for the last probably four or five weeks, I don't know, we've had like a major storm to come through. And, um, you know, it's like, I'm sick of the storms, okay? <laughs> I'm sick of the rain, too. <laughs> but at least it's just drizzling rain today and not storming. Yeah, so that's a plus. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you're having good weather. And if it is raining where you are, I hope you're safe and that you can enjoy the rain. I'm just going to crochet the day away and enjoy the rain on our metal roof. We have a metal roof, and so... That rain does sound soothing, like it's sleepy weather for me. So guys, you can see my face. I have been having a really rough time with my health here lately. And anytime I am sick or I have something going on in my body, it reflects on my face. My face shows if I'm feeling well or if I'm feeling horrible. So what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I feel horrible. <laughs> but, you know, life goes on. If I said, oh, I feel bad today. I'm not going to do a video. I'm not going to do anything. Then guess what? I would never do a video. Really? I mean, I wouldn't because I feel bad every day, okay? Some days are worse than others. But, you know, to have a day where it's like, oh, I feel great today is very, very rare. I have crest. And so, with that comes along scleroderma, which is really hard on the skin. And I also have lupus, and that is also really hard on the skin. And so, when that is kind of flared up, whenever I have something going on in my body, that flares up and it reflects on my face and my chest. It, um... It's, it's painful. It very, it's very painful. And my skin is so tight. And that's part of the scleroderma. Is it, um, it shrinks your skin. And so it is working overtime. Even on the medications. You know, I take a chemo drug that is supposed to combat that. And, uh, and other medications that are supposed to combat that. But this morning... I told Big Daddy, my face is so tight, like my skin is so tight, it is painful. So I did take 30 milligrams of prednisone, and I'm going to taper that down, because I've got to get some relief, because my face is just so, it is so freaking tight, and it is just like, um... I don't know. I don't know. I've even got little um, sores popping up around here because the skin is breaking. It's stretched so tight that the skin is just like <clears throat> popping open in places. So anyway, that's what I have going on. Yes, I could say, I mean, this is embarrassing. It is. But also at the same time, like I don't like going out in public like this. <laughs> um, but at the same time... I do want to bring awareness that this is what scleroderma and lupus, you know, does to people. Um, lupus, you usually have just a rash, the butterfly rash, and it can get pretty bad at times. But then you add the scleroderma on top of that, and I have my skin is just like stretched so tight across my face and my chest that it just... It's painful. It's painful. And like I said, my skin is starting to pop open at different places. And so I took that prednisone in hopes that that will help. And I'm going to taper that down over the next few days and see if that will help clear it up some. And if it don't, I'm going to take a bigger dose of prednisone <laughs> to try to get some relief because it's horrible. 
But anyway, just wanted you guys to know what is going on with my face. <laughs> and to bring awareness, you know, that when you see someone out in public, um, they probably are suffering from scleroderma, crest, um, lupus, or other types of autoimmune diseases that affect the skin. So, you know, have compassion. <laughs> and teach your children to have compassion, too. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to do a crochet whip it or rip it video. And I do have projects finished from the last one. I just I forgot to show them. So I just brought them in here and I'm going to record videos on that. So it'll be coming. So today let's just open a dr the next drawer and see what is going on. This is um, those little drawers you can buy at Walmart. I have... You can buy them in like a stack of three and so i have three and then we took off the top and stacked another one on there so i have a six drawers here and they're on wheels so they roll around here in my yarn room but i will tell you that you do have to be careful with those wheels you can't just be rough rolling them around because it's plastic up under the drawers and those little plastic pieces can break and so you have to be careful with that. But I love having the drawers. Um, I do have crochet project bags. But I use them mostly like to leave the house with. And not have my projects in the house in project bags. Because if I can't see in them. I'm not likely to pick them up to see what's in them. But anyway. Um, I have these drawers. And I can see that it's full of projects calling my name. Mama, mama. Come crochet me. <laughs> So, I'm tired of listening to them holler for me. And so, we're going to go in here today and see what am I going to finish and what am I going to rip. So, and Phoebe wants to say hi real quick. Ugh, come here, baby. You want to say hi for a minute? Yeah, you pretty girl. Yes, you are, Mama's baby. Aren't you? <laughs> This is Phoebe. She is, um, I believe, three years old. My little Chihuahua baby. Her loves her mommy. Oh. Okay, Phoebe. So let's look in these drawers and see what we're going to crochet and what we're going to rip out. So, what is this? Oh, Phoebe, what is that? What do you think it is? Huh? What do you think it is? Alright, go get in your puppy bed, okay? She'll be okay now. She just wants me to hold her for a minute. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure what is in this bag. Let's see. Well. Oh my gosh. I. I don't know. Looks like it might be some type of animal. Like, okay, here's like a tail. Looks like some legs there. And a body. And then a neck. And a, a head. Maybe looking back. I'm not sure. Um, I would have no idea what pattern this is, where to find the pattern. So, this is a real, well, it's just a throwaway because <laughs> it's already cut from the skein, so it's just no ripping it. And it looks like these legs were made and then sewn on. Um, yeah, it looks like this can go because I, I wouldn't have no idea what pattern it is. Or anything like that. So I'll probably just let the cats play with it for a little bit. And then throw it away. They'll have fun with that. So that is a rip it. And now I have this yarn to put back here in my stash. Because it is still a pretty good you know, size skein. So I'm going to put it over here on my whip cart. And fold this bag up. And put it in the drawer right here. All right, so let's see what else is in here. Um, 
I do know what this is. I do know this is that Flapper Girl yarn from Hobby Lobby. I love that colorway. And I do know this was a shawl that I started. And um, I decided I didn't like it. I didn't like working on it. And so I'm going to rip that out and use that yarn for something else. Because that would make a sweet amigurumi. So, that's a rip it. That's a rip it. Most definitely rip that sucker out. I love the yarn, not the project. So, and that's okay. We can change our mind. <clears throat> that is written in the crocheter's handbook. You are able to change your mind at any moment. <laughs> okay, what else is in here? Well, I have some um, little things I have been collecting. A lot of these have been sent by some of you guys. And these are going to go on that sweater that I am adding um, little motifs to, little crocheted things to. So those are just collecting in this drawer. And um, then I, well, I'm going to do a video one day of showing, adding those on. I'm just hot gluing it, so it's not anything technical. <laughs> But anyway, so I'm just going to keep saving those. I know where they are because I add to it. Uh, this would have been perfect for last week. <laughs> it is a peep. I should have finished this last week for Easter. But guess what? I didn't know it was in here. So there's the ears. This is a uh, 3 a.m. Grace design pattern and it looks like both panels are done they just need eyes put on it crocheted together and stuffed definitely will finish this very soon i should have done that for this past week and i don't know why i didn't that's crazy <laughs> all right what do we got here huh I want to make a pillow, but not just a pillow, probably a pillow case. Let's see what I got going on here. I don't know what this one is for. Oh, I guess I need to go around it in blue. Is that the same blue? It might be. This might be the same blue. I'll have to get Big Daddy to look at it because his eyes are better than mine to check and make sure that is the same blue and I can just use this to finish up this project. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make a 4th of July or Americana. It doesn't have to be 4th of July. Americana pillowcase. And so I was going to do um, these little squares. I think that's the project I was doing with this. Um, these little squares, I'm going to sew those together to make a little um, blue section with the white, you know, stars. They're not really stars. They're just part of the granny square. But for the overall project, it'll represent the stars, right? So I was going to do those. I don't know how many of these I need. I, I have to lay this out and see. Right now I have three, six, seven, and then one more white that needs to the blue around. So that would be eight. Um, what I'll have to do is get a standard size pillow. Like I'm just going to buy one from Walmart, like their cheap one that's about like five bucks. And I'll lay this out on there and see how big I want my blue part. And then I'm going to do red and white stripes. <clears throat> excuse me and make an American flag pillowcase I'm not gonna I'm gonna sew up three sides but not one so it can be taken off and washed and all that kind of stuff so that's a project that I have wanted to do started on it didn't finish it definitely want to finish it and I think this yarn matches that actually so um that is something that I will work on 
and um, maybe get done by 4th of July, maybe not, who knows, you have to watch and see. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this out to work on that for sure. So, so far I have two rippets and two finishes it, finishes it. <laughs> two whips to complete and two rips. Well, and in, in here, I don't know why, but I have three uh, Karen Cupcakes. They don't match. They're all three different. This one is um, this right here. It is a three-weight yarn. And it is called Strawberry Pie. This one is called Tangerine Dream. And this one is called Fruit Punch. Huh. So, I don't know. I probably stuck these in here for a project. And I don't recall what that project was. I know at one time I made my son Dakota a pillowcase, as I was just talking about. And it's ironic that that pillowcase is in with these. And I made a pillowcase with these before. So, maybe that's what I had going on. I'm not really sure because... <laughs> my memory but at one time I took these and I made granny squares and I just I didn't color control I just let it work up ever how it worked up and I made I think it was about 12 squares and I don't remember how many rounds I would have to get Dakota to look on his pillow and see and I did see his pillow in a photo the other day that I made him and I was like oh that's the pillow I made him <laughs> Um, I just, I think I did 12 squares, and like I said, I don't know how many rounds were per square, and then I took those squares, and I crocheted cats, silhouettes of cats, well, I did put faces on them, and they had tails, and I tried to do different sized cats, and so I put a cat on each square, because he loves cats, he always has since he was a little bitty kid, like a little baby, he's always loved cats. Um, one time we were in the grocery store, just he and I, he was sitting in the buggy meowing because he wanted to be a cat. <laughs> so, like Aristocats was his favorite movie he had to watch every day. Um, and he was meowing and meowing and meowing until the little boy in the buggy behind us started barking. <laughs> It was so funny. But anyway, he's always been a cat lover. He has two cats. And so maybe I was going to do something else like that again. I'm not really entirely sure. But I think these two could actually go to. And I don't remember if I used two or three of these. But these two would work up together to make something like that. This one I don't feel like matches at all. It's not the same family at all. So... Not sure about that one. I could make a hat. I don't know. But I'm going to stick these back in here. Because um, I probably don't have anywhere else to put them. And we'll see what happens with those. Future project. Just not today. <laughs> so anyway. These two. This I'm going to give to the cats. Actually they're out here. Oh, I threw it like up and down. It's right here. And I was trying to throw it out into the den. <laughs> Um, this one, oh, the cat is coming to get it. Sissy is coming to investigate and see what it is. This one, I'm going to rip and use this yarn for something else. I love this colorway, and I, I do believe this is called Flapper Girl, which I just love that name, too. <laughs> and then this, I'm going to finish, put some eyes on it, crochet this sucker up, and stuff it, and have a peep pillow. And then I'll do the Americana um, pillowcase as I, you know, have time and work on it and such. So that is my whip it or rip it video for today. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, it is a beautiful day to crochet. And I hope to see you all again very soon on the next video. Bye, friends. Love you.